Hey guys and welcome back, in today's video we'll be looking at the latest version of the GTA 6 map, some big updates to the map have been made, with all of the information we have from the leaks and the first official trailer, we're also going to be looking at where the shots from the trailer took place, we also have timestamps now that the map is updated, and also some interesting discoveries such as the first GTA 6 taxi was spotted in the trailer, but before we get into it, a friendly reminder, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button, as most of my viewers are not subscribed, I truly appreciate you guys' to support the channel and the discord server are growing massively, I'd be so grateful if we get the channel to 10,000 subscribers. Let's start by looking at the GTA 6 mapping project. You probably have seen it yet, this is the biggest and best GTA 6 mapping project. On screen right now you can see the latest version of the map that we're going to be analyzing in today's video. Some major changes have been made, so I'd like to point these out. And we're also going to look at all of the timestamps with the trailer shots, which can be seen in all of the different locations on the map. The GTA 6 map is rumored to have three major cities, but for now we only know two. Vice City and Port Gellhorn. I typically start from the northwest side of the map and we'll make our way down, covering all of the locations and names we know. Some of the biggest changes have been made to the Port Gellhorn area, more specifically the borders and the placing of some of the roads and locations on the map. So with this iteration of the map, the map has been expanded. It was previously 15 by 15 squares and now it is 16 by 16. So where the map was previously cut off at the top, we now have one square additional space. And this just gives you a pretty good idea that we don't know anything about the north portion of the map and just by this expansion you can tell that the map can be much bigger than what we know currently. The first location that we know of is Yorktown, rumored to be the third big city on the GTA 6 map, perhaps based on Tampa, and the latest changes made to the map may be in support of this. It is still roughly in the same place where we know it from the previous iterations of the map, however the southern borders of the city have been changed. Now we have this Gulf or Bay Area that features a port, as you can see a part of the border where the port is and a part of Bolkemer Bridge are colored differently that's because we know their placement and they're not speculation unlike the red and orange colored parts. The Bolkemer Bridge has also undergone some changes. It now connects to one of the roads that can be seen from the leaks and it's now way bigger and going over this new water portion. There are also some new islands that have been added but these are purely speculation as you can see the borders are orange. As you can see this area where the Hank's Waffles Diner has been changed it has been moved around. The roads are also different and they're now connected. You'll see this green dot that says trailer 1, 1 minute and 10 seconds that is where the shot with Jason and Lucia drifting in their car takes place in Port Gilhorn and you can also see this purple line which is a new addition to the map you may be wondering what this is it is a speculation railway we also have this in Vice City so we'll be seeing this a lot so these are pretty much all of the big changes that have been made to the Port Gilhorn area it does look closer to Panama City in real life now but if Yorktown was based on Tampa then it wouldn't make sense for it to be south of it that's where Fort Myers is but of course this is a fictional recreation by Rockstar so they may have mixed the two and put the fictional Panama City south of the fictional Tampa but that's of course if Yorktown is based on Tampa and we don't know that yet. The rest of the locations are pretty much in their same place so we'll move directly to Vice City. As you can see we now have North Vice City and Waning Sands on the map with red names that's because they're speculation and we also have this area with two speculative buildings and a green dot that says trailer 1 50 seconds that's where the shot with the obese guy being chased by the police officer takes place so that's the gas station but as you can see the roads and also the gas station has been marked with red that means that the placement is still speculation but based on the skyscrapers that can be seen in the background that's roughly where it takes place the rest of the areas in the city are pretty much the same but now you'll notice that we have the yellow and the purple lines the yellow lines mean speculation metro and the purple lines mean speculation railway same as we saw in port gilhorn but if we zoom in we'll see where the trailer shots took place here in the stockyard area we have trailer 1 28 seconds that's where the car meet scene takes place. The area is based on Wynwood in real life. The two green dots right here near the highway is where the music video shoot from the trailer takes place. We have quite a bit of information about the buildings surrounding it. This is also an area that was revealed by the leak that happened prior to the trailer release. So we now know more about this area of the city. West of that we have another green dot saying trailer 1, 1 minute and 6 seconds. That's where the scene with the bikers takes place. Most of the buildings and roads are colored in red because we don't have much information about that area but it is in Little Haiti. If we zoom out you see that we have the speculation metro that goes around the Mamba Stadium and it has also been extended down to the Vice City International Airport metro station that was seen in the leaks. If we zoom into the Crasstown area we can see that one trailer shot takes place on the highway at the 51 second mark. That's the shot with the raging Florida man. That's where the car accident took place. East of that we have another trailer shot 0.25 seconds and that's the highway where Jason and Lucia were driving on. The scene with the supercars at night that's where it took place. You can see how the highway connects to the 
now introduced to Watson Island. Another trailer shot next to Watson Island is the trailer shot at the 041 second mark. That's the shot with the guy throwing a party on his boat with all of the ladies. In the background, the same three buildings from the previous scene can be seen. Slightly north of that location, we have the Venetian Islands, with the next trailer shot being at the 31 second mark. That's the nice shot that showcased the Venetian Islands. Undoubtedly my favorite shot in the trailer. Let me know what yours is in the comments. Another area that has undergone a massive change is the Vice Beach area, and more specifically the northern part of the Vice Beach area. All of the buildings in the Washington Beach are now colored with gray, so that's where they will be located. We also have the Nautilus as an added name colored in red, and the Pelican Harbor has now been improved, being separated from the Nautilus area, and Bayshore has also been separated. We have a few shots that took place in the Vice Beach area. The first one is at the 38th second mark, and that's the scene with the Bikini Girl that takes place on top of the Trezor Tower. It gave us quite a bit of details about the buildings in the Vice Beach area, but moving southeast, we have the introduction shot right here at the 12th second mark that showed us Vice City and Vice Beach for the first time. Fun fact, that the first taxi in GTA 6 has been spotted in that exact same shot. So as you can see, if we zoom in in front of one of the buildings, you can see a taxi and a green car parked in front of this building. It gives you an idea of the yellow cabs that we'll see in Vice City, and it's a pretty cool discovery. Moving down to the South Beach area, we have three shots that took place in South Beach. One of them is the night shot that showcased the Ocean View Hotel from GTA Vice City for the first time, along with some of the hotels surrounding it. The shot is 33 seconds into the trailer, and it gave us quite a bit of details about the NPCs and how lively the city will feel. The next shot from South Beach is at the 44th second mark, and it's the famous shot with the woman twerking on top of the car. South of that, we have the third shot that takes place in South Beach, and it is at the 22nd mark, is the scene with all of the NPCs walking on the beach. Every shot from the trailer was mind-blowing, but seeing the NPCs for the first time was something else. Moving down in the southwest direction to the Vice City port, we can see a part of the purple line, which is a speculation railway. It ends at the Vice City port for now. We have another trailer shot right there. At the 23rd second mark, it is the shot with the boats that replicates the introduction of the Miami Vice 2006 movie. I just have too many favorite shots in this trailer. Up next is the shot from the Brico area. It's at the 18th second mark is one of the first shots in the trailer. If we keep moving west, we'll see that we have another shot right next to the Vice City International Airport. It's the scene with the Vice sign at the 40th second mark. You can also see the speculation railway here around the Vice City International Airport and also some changes that have been made to the lake slash waterway area. And that's where the first few shots in the trailer are from. That's the whole introduction with Lucia. The lake slash waterway is where we see the boat in the water and the Hamlet Correctional Institution is where Lucia is in prison. Moving south, we have the Hamlet area, which has been slightly tilted to the right. The grass rivers are still there. And in the keys, we have one shot from the trailer. At the 35th second mark is the shot with the plane flying over the keys. That's the only shot from the trailer that showcases the keys. You can see where the ground blimp is located from that same shot. So the plane is going east that is looking in this direction. And that should give you a pretty good idea of where the shots from the trailer take place on the GTA 6 map. I definitely think it's better to know where they take place because it gives you a better idea of just the scale of the map and what we should expect from it. Shout out to the GTA 6 mapping community for doing such a fantastic job with the mapping project. But that's all of the updates for now. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more GTA 6 videos just like this one. Join my Discord from the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.